Welcome to our Terragin part and in this lesson we want to create an environment for using a skybox with Half-Life Advanced Effects. Therefore we have to download Terragin and you can download it from planet side and here's the latest version and download it, install it and then start it. So that's Terragin. First we close the landscape and we want change a little bit of our camera. So you see in that black window we can move our camera by holding the left mouse button. With the right mouse button we can also change the target position and so we can easily change our camera. Another step we have to make is to change that zoom value and our zoom value is 1 because we get a 90 degree field of view. So that's very important for using a skybox because we have four side faces and therefore we need a field of view of 90 degree. Anyway, let's start with the landscape and therefore I want to generate a terrain and you see we can generate as often we want and we can also use other methods and they are looking quite a little bit different and I want now create a little bit bigger size and, and that's looking good and I want also use another method on existing terrain so that's generate that feature on our terrain which is currently finished so click on generate and you see that and that's quite good. <coughs> so another step we can make is we click on that preview and you see our landscape view is a um, bigger overview and that's also the camera target position I showed in that preview window. Uh, but we can change into the sculpting mode and therefore we can draw in our landscape. So you see we can change tool size and also the tool effect and if we click with the left button we raise up our landscape and with the right we lower the same. So I lower a little bit to draw something like a lake. So something like that. And that's looking good. Camera and render preview. So it's quite good but um, these mountains are a little bit too high and therefore I modify that a little bit and you see from negative 8000 to 1700 meters I will change a little bit to 1500 to negative 2000 set heat range and you see it's a little bit more smooth render preview and it's a little bit too smooth but we won't change that by generating uh, features on existing terrain and I use for example rich multi perlin generate generate and it's looking quite better the next step is we have to change our camera also the hay of our camera and that is for example 500 and also the target is 500 meters and change position and it's quite high, so modify to 1000 and that's looking better. So change heat and I will check all my positions and it's looking very good, very good and also. So very nice, that is our landscape and now we want to change a little bit the terrain and therefore in our landscape view we have that surface map. So the surface map is our current um, texture on our mountains. You see it's normal brown, gray, something like that and I will change that to basic surface and also a little bit darker and yes in the preview it's okay. 
So next step, we want to add some surfaces. So add child, edit, and that is um, work surface one. Change the color. And yes, it's quite good. And the next step is we can also change the coverage under advanced distribution. And you see coverage, less coverage and more coverage. Also we can change it to blur, less fractal noise and more fractal noise. So we have a small blur between our work surface and our basic surface. So that's okay. And when I preview, and it's quite good. So another surface and that's of course rock surface 2 and it's very dark and 8 8 and 8 okay coverage render preview and you see that dark um, yes texture on our basic surface we also have to change that max slope so not only on the top of our mountains you see that rock surface also on the sides so render preview and you see it um, more blur the same thing render preview less blur so it's quite good and we also have to change that to rock surface one uncheck max slope and it's looking even better so next we have to add another surface and that's rock surface 3 to get more details in our texture so also change that color and I want to make it a little bit brighter so I think that's looking good and change coverage fracture noise and uncheck max slope render preview and more detail render preview and that's a little bit too bright name work surface 3 color and you see that's light work dark work and so on render preview and also change color a little bit darker and also less fractal noise so I think that it's looking